A good illustration of this in scripture is Naaman. You remember the Old Testament, he's the captain of the Aramean army. He's a very powerful man, a very rich man, a very wealthy man. He's got one problem, guess what? He's a leper. And that's a bad problem to happen. And at one point they go out on a raid and they take a little Israeli girl captive and who does she ha- just so happen to be the servant of? Naaman's wife. And she hears about Naaman's struggle. And she says, it's too bad you can't go see this prophet in Samaria. That guy can cure anyone. Naaman, hey, what it could have hurt. He decides to go to Israel. Check this guy out. He goes to the king of Israel. The king of Israel says, I can't cure anyone. Elijah says, send him over to me. So Naaman goes to Elijah's house. I love this. He goes over to Elijah's house. He's a very powerful man. He's the captain of the army. This is a wealthy guy. He goes to Elijah's little hut. I just picture him a little preacher in a cul-de-sac. And he's upstairs. And here's Naaman knock on the door. I'd, I'd like to see Elijah. Hey, Elijah, there's this guy here. I ain't got time. I picture Elijah. He's watching the second half of the Chiefs game. And he says, I ain't leaving. My home's going to throw a touchdown here in a minute. I ain't leaving for this guy. And guess what he does? He sends Gehazi. I ain't even going to mess with him. He sends Gehazi, his servant. And Gehazi goes out there to Naaman and says, here's what you need to do. You got to go down the Jordan River and dip seven times. Can you imagine Naaman? Are you kidding me? Does he know who I am? Who are you, your servant? And you're going to tell me to go dip? We've got better rivers back in Aramea. What in the world? And do you realize what this takes? He's a leper. He's probably wrapped himself up, probably his only his eyes exposed. He's got to go down there. He's got to expose his leprosy, get in front of everybody, and dip seven times, not in any river, but the Jordan. And he says, that's a bunch of hooey or whatever. I ain't doing it. And his servant says, what? What do you got to lose? You can't save yourself. You're a goner. So he goes down and guess what he does? He humbles himself. Do you know how foolish he must have looked, this wealthy, powerful man getting in a river and he dips once and twice and the seventh time he comes out and he's healed. It's a picture of salvation. You have to humble yourself, and you don't go to any God. You go to the one God of Israel and his Messiah, Jesus Christ, because he's the only way to salvation. And you have to humble yourself. I don't care where you come from, how much money you have or job you have. You have to humble yourself before him in recognition of your sinfulness and his salvation. But if you will, you'll be exalted.